What's up, everybody? Dan the Man in the house. I want to welcome you back to Dan the Man's Weekly. Today was Tuesday, August 31st, 2021. Now we just entered uh, Wednesday, September 1st, 2021. Yeah, we're at the end of the eighth month. We just entered the ninth month of the year. So, yeah. And has anybody seen my uh, seven year anniversary of Dan the Man's Weekly? Yep, there it is. Please check it out. Okay. And again, I apologize for the delay. So, <laughs> all right. So, therefore, uh, speaking of anniversaries, well, actually, this is not an anniversary yet. It's yet. Um, this is yet another birthday tribute. So, this time we've reached a 31st birthday tribute. Yeah, birthday tribute number 31. Okay, so um, here's the footage of the recaps of the my previous 30th. 30 birthday tribute, so uh, here, take a look. You remember the first birthday tribute I did with SoCal Val? Second is Brie Bagwell. Third is Victoria Sinclair Loya. Fourth is Madison Livingston. Fifth is Caitlin Dubow. Sixth is Elia Sparza. Seventh is Adriana Lopez, also known as Adi Luna. Eighth is Bianca Carrasco, also known as Bianca Dogs. Ninth is Robbie Sepulveda. Tenth is Lisa Sanchez of Kaylee Q. Eleventh is Mama Judy of the Desert Bonfire. Twelve is El Paso Sweetheart, Boxing Champ, Jennifer Hahn. Thirteen is Latina, Liz Tina, sorry. Fourteenth is Katie Salazar. 15th is Chelsea Beth. 16th is Daisy Blue. 17th is, is Ivy Magana, also known as Professor Aspion. 18th is Talia Lilani. 19th is Nicole Osborne. 20th is Lizzie Martinez. 21 is Emily Davis. 22nd is Jenny Robbins. 23 is Chrissy Garola. 24 is Calista Singley. 25 is Shelly Mozell of the City Magazine. 26 is Chang of the 306. 27 is Richie Marufa of B-Worms. 28 is Courtney Shearwood. 29 is Abby Naira. And recently, the 30th, Joe Barone. Yep, those are my 30th birthday tribute all on nice so far. Yeah, that is the footage of the recaps of the previous 30th birthday tribute all on nice. So therefore, there are the 30th birthday tribute all on nice. Yeah, that was the footage from my seven year anniversary of uh, recapping my birthday tributes. So, yep, 30. And now, this is the 31st birthday tribute you all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. Yeah.
Yep, she is uh, B Wong's regular um, from back in the day, long, not long before the coronavirus. But she's also El Paso Zone, but also Las Cruces Zone as well. But she is po she is a poet, an author, and a writer as well. And she's also known as the Lizard King. And her name is Liz Liano. Yeah, I've known Liz for a very long time, a dear friend of mine. I remember when she she was a, a B womp a regular as a uh, sometimes a recurring guest. Um, that she uh, came at the Black Orchid Lounge and performed her uh, performed her extraordinary poetry. Yes, because uh, she's been writing poems, oh uh, well, it's kind of like me, but uh, she's been writing poems for so many years, and yeah, and she just graduated as an NMSU, and yeah, she's now a creative writer, and I gotta say, uh, she done so many poetries and throughout the years, sometimes prose, but I gotta say, an amazing poet she is. And an amazing, an amazing writer she is. That I gotta say, I remember when she did her poetry slam, and oh yes, these are the extraordinary words I heard. And I gotta say, um, I gotta say two thumbs up to Liz. She did an amazing job. So, shout outs to you, Liz. Yes. And just recently, uh, she she just uh, created her poetry book. Um, it is entitled "I Don't Know Much About Love." Yes, it is. There it is. So you might want to get that book. This is very nice, um, very nice poetry book she has. So uh, please get the book. And I gotta say, an amazing book she has. And now, um, today is her birthday, well, later today, so, um, um, happy, happy birthday, Liz, I'll, well, happy birthday to the Lizard King. That's right. All right, in tribute to her birthday, the footage yet again, which you're about to see are scenes of my poetry slam. It takes place, um, last Thursday, August 26th, the day after my supposedly seven-year anniversary of Dan the Man's Weekly. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it takes place at the, for the Barbed Wire Open Mic Series at the Old, uh, Old, Dog, Old Sheepdog Brewery. <coughs> I'm sorry, the Old Sheepdog Brewery. I'm trying to pronounce that. Uh, it's, it's located at the Central El Paso where we, that every last Thursday of the month we, uh, gathered over there and spread out our B Womps Poetry open mic. So, this is very nice. Alright, and the poetry I did, uh, the first part is, uh, a poetry to the Lizard King, and the second one is based on my birthday poems on Facebook called Elizabeth uh, Liz and also known as the Lizard King. Oh, you're about to like this one. And it's also filmed by my friend, uh, Juan Granados, also known as the Sundance Kid. And let's see if Richie gets the MC. Okay guys, here it is, uh, the scenes of my poetry slam for Liz. Hope you guys like it. Enjoy. Uh, Juan, you getting this? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, reintroduce me again, Richie. <laughs> uh, Richie? Yeah, oh, man. Uh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> okay, I was good. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, man, I'm busy, okay? Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, thank you for the intro, kid. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, has anybody heard of a friend of ours? She was B1's regular El Paso Zone, well, now Las Cruces' Zone, 
She's also known as the Lizard King. Uh, she's a dear friend of ours, a dear friend of Richie's, and a yeah, friend of the Bwoms. I've seen her perform before. She is a poet, she is an author, and a writer. And her name is Liz Liano. Uh, anybody know her? Anybody? Yeah, yeah, you know her. Okay. All right, well, you guys are gonna like the, the poetry I did for her. It's called A Poetry to Liz Liano. <clears throat> My friend Liz, also known as the Lizard King, a writing poetry, that's always something, words of anything, she should be the king of wishful thinking, according to Go West. Curving her writings um, from crawling from the Lone Star State to the land of enchantment. It's just poetry to make a statement on the contrary. Also known as the Allah the Lizard King, a royal reptile, a crown Serian, sorting those words so bright, matching the words so right under the, her desert rose, imperial pros, uh, knighting her poetry, home free, monarch lizards uh, near the deep blue sea. Performing on the stage, performing on the mic, performing on the notes with poetry and with, with the poem and words wrong, topics, chrome, and a book, pandum, palindorum, and working on the hook, and according to Roxette, she's got the looks. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know the song. <laughs> yeah, and according to a poetry verse from Emily Dickinson, and I quote: "If I read the book, and it makes my body, it makes my whole body so cold, no fire can ever warm me. I know that it's poetry." End quote. And according to a poetry verse from. M. Asim Nahal, it's called A Lizard on the Wall, on the wall, and I quote, an uninvited visitor, make it at all, silently keep moving, a lizard on the wall, end quote. Well, Liz, my friend, you went from your words to a place on the high ranks, you crawl all over the concrete, lizard pace, you can't give chase, can't give chase, they're fast, and on the blank, on the plank, blankety blank, won't last. Keep up what you do best. Cheers to the Lizard King of the West. And leave out all the rest. The monarch lizards, uh, according to Lincoln Park, the monarch lizards roam free uh, near the deep blue sea. Now, see you later, Liz, also known as the Lizard King, writing poetry. Uh, that's always something. Hope all is well. Well. And this next one on Facebook. It's called um, <clears throat> Liz Liano um, Elizabeth Ann, um, also known as the Lizard King. <clears throat> she is <clears throat> she is a Virgo of the mutable. The sapphire meaning daintness filled with light, symbol of love, linked to the element earth. Yeah. And the aster of the estuary and the morning glory of the conservalsi. It's because her birthday is on the first day of the ninth month in the year classified. Born and raised in right here in El Paso. Not El Paso Strong, now in five. From a thriving scholar as a poet. As a poet, writer, and author, she embodies a woman full of drive for success. Her favorite color, blue, like um, a flower called a blue star to a birthstone called sapphire. Uh, this color reminds me of two songs, uh, you know, or three songs. Blue, blue velvet by Bobby Vinton and and Blue by Leanne Rhymes, and When the Stars Goes Blue by The Chorus and Bono of U2. She symbolizes beauty, imagination, unity, harmony, convulsion, accuracy, creativity, connotation, determination, devotion, intensity, straight, truth, peacekeeping, safekeeping, complexity, portrait, faith, friendship, and family, end quote. Um, Liz, my friend, here's to another year of experience. Keep up what you do best. 
as a poet, author, and writer, and especially, um, especially your book. I don't know all about love. Well, reach for the stars above, sort of. All right. See. All right. Well. Yeah. Hope all is well. Thank you. It is this coming Wednesday, uh, September 1st. Do not miss it. It's my 31st birthday tribute to Liz, our friend, the Lizard King. Thank you very much, everybody. All right. And uh, get, get Richie's comment right there. All right. Comments. Thank you, guys. All right, that is the scenes of my poetry slam from last Thursday at the Old Sheep Dog Brewery uh, for B Wombs Open Mic. Yeah, I want to say thanks again, Richie, and once again, um, thank you, uh, Juan Granados, also known as the Sundance Kid. So thanks a lot, Juan. Thank you. Thanks again, Richie. Okay, and the poetry to Liz, how I how I did. Um, you guys are gonna like this one. I said, well, actually, it's uh, I want to call it the poetry to the Lizard King, and yeah, also known as the poetry to Liz Liano. So I say, my friend Liz, also known as the Lizard King, writing poetry. There's always something, words of anything. Should be I mentioned the, the from Go West, the King of Wishful. Like curving her writings from the Lone Star State to the Land of Enchantment, it's just poetry, making a statement of the contrary. Also known as the Lizard King, uh, a royal reptile, a crown chameleon, um, uh, a loyal Syrian. Yeah, so I think it's chameleon, I missed that one. So, sorting the words so bright, matching the words so right, using a desert rose, imperial prose, knighting. Night, her poetry, home free, monarch, chameleon, near the deep blue sea. Yeah, performing on stage, performing on the mic, on notes, and with the poems, and word roam, topic chrome, a book, and a palindrome, working on the hook. And according to Roxette, she's got the looks, she's got the looks, yeah. And I got a, a verse poetry from Emily Dickinson, and I quote, If I read a book and it makes my whole body so no so cold no fire can ever warm me I know that is poetry <laughs> and a and there's a, a, a quote from uh, M. Asim Nehal is called I quote a lizard on the wall by him and it's quote an uninvited visitor making it all silently keep moving a lizard on the wall and quote <laughs> yeah and I say Liz my friend you're you went from your words to the place of the high ranks. You crawl all, all over the concrete. The lizard pace can't get chased. There's fast on the plank, blankety blank. Won't last. And keep up what you do best. The cheers to the lizard king of the west. Uh, monarch chameleons. Uh, leave out all the rest, according to Lincoln Park. Roam free near the deep blue sea. See you later, lizard. See you later, Liz, also known as the Lizard King, writing poetry. That that's always something. Hope all as well. Yep. End quote. Yeah. And then here's the the birthday poem on um, based on my birthday poems on Facebook. It's called uh, Elizabeth Liz and um, also known as the Lizard King. Yeah, that she's a Virgo, of immutable, the sapphire. Uh, meaning daintness filled with life and symbol of love and it's because the asteroid and the morning glory of the asteroid and the convulsory and linking to the element earth <laughs> and it's, she's born on the first day of the ninth month of the year classified born and raised right here in the 915 and from a thriving scholar to a, a poet author and writer and especially an NMSU graduate class of 2021 Yep, uh, she embodies a woman full of drive for success. Her favorite color, blue. From a blue star, it's a symbol of a flower, to a birthstone called sapphire. Yep, that's a, that's a birthstone sapphire of September. Yeah, it reminds me of two, this color reminds me of two songs. There's Blue Velvet by either Bobby Vinton or Lana Del Rey. And there's Blue by Leanne Grimes. And When the Star Goes Blue by the Chorus of Bono. <laughs> 
and she symbolizes beauty, imagination, unity, harmony, convulsion, accuracy, creativity, connotation, determination, devotion, intensity, strength, truth, peacekeeping, safekeeping, complexity, portrait, faith, friendship, and family. And then I mentioned Liz, my friend, oh, also known as the Lizard King, here's for another year of experience. Keep up what you do best as a poetry, as a poet, author, and writer. And, and I wish mean, someday, I'd like to, wish someday I'd like to share you my poetry, as long as you still share yours. Well, I say hope all is well. <laughs> yep, so, yeah, this is very nice. So, um, <laughs> I hope uh, I hope Liz enjoyed the the scenes of my poetry slam. I think you'll like this one. So, I'm gonna send her a copy as soon as possible, and that's what I'm gonna do. So, <laughs> Liz, I hope you enjoyed the scenes of my poetry slam. All right, and now let's get to the video birthday shout out to to Liz. Um, for those we know very well, here's in order by and. Uh, from local celebrities, uh, some we may pass through, and um, some are here. Some we, some we know. Uh, some Liz may not know. Well, you are about to find out. Okay. Well, here's the video birthday shoutouts to. Here's those who did meant to send in the video birthday shoutouts to Liz. Here it is. Take a look. Happy birthday, Liz! I hope your birthday is full of amazing new memories that you get to create, and I just hope that all of your wishes come true. Happy birthday. Hey Liz, super happy birthday to you. I hope you have a fantastic time. So grateful for you, your words and your beauty and your commitment to the art scene. Have a great one. Hey Lizzie, happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful one. Yo, what up? This is Elemental, giving a shout out to Liz, happy birthday, here with Dan the Man's channel, you know, always peace and love, man. Happy birthday, Liz Leanna, happy birthday to you. What's up, Liz? Happy Everything birthday. Happy as birthday. As if I'm floating still. Hey, what's up? My name is Wizzy Kiddo. I just performed with the Mona Art. I just want to say happy, happy birthday to you, Liziano. I just want to hope you had a great birthday. Hope you have a just have fun, you know? Hope you have a great one. Liziano, happy birthday. Enjoy it, live it, breathe it, be it. Happy birthday. Shout out to Liz Liano. She's one of the hardest fucking working poets I've ever met. She's super, super supportive of everybody. 
Happy birthday. Dude, thank you for everything you do for the community. And thank you for everything that you do for all the aspiring artists, for all the aspiring poets and writers. All your events have been amazing. The way that you run things has been amazing. And hey, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. What's going on? Big shout out. Happy birthday to the Lizard King. Woo! Hope you have a fucking awesome birthday. Thank you so much, man. Happy birthday! Sessions concert series, uh, 10 Second Pistol, and I Music Group. I'm Chang, and I just want to say happy birthday. Peace. Hi, happy birthday, Liz. Hope you have a great one. Also known as a lizard. Hey, lizard! It's Nicole Osborne. Happy birthday, lady. Keep doing everything you're doing. Happy birthday, Liz. Hey, Lesliano, this is Brie Bagwell. I just want to say very happy birthday. Uh, big thanks to Eric Attili, also known as Conrad Faya, uh, Denise Designs, Christine Ponte Diaz, Anthony Austin Brown, Sharita Gonzalez, uh, Otis Hicks, Zeke, uh, Cage Carter, Hayden Brundle, Lando VC, Anthony Ryan, Christopher Master Serrano, uh, Feline Fox, uh, Kit Wren, Celia Aguilar, Liam Mess, Elemental the Musician, Kamla and Tan Beb, uh, Gabriel Maior, uh, Denzel Saint Sixty uh, Applewhite, uh, Juan Granados, also known as the Sundance Kid. Angel Bell, Wizzy Getham, uh, Valentin Sandoval, Zach Welsh, also known as Mr. Nobody, Daniel Rivera from the Golden Groove, Mikey Stampede, uh, Joe Pete from Kaylee Q, Ricky and Emily, also known as uh, August Aventura, uh, Damian Wilds, CT Rivers, Maggie, Lulu, and CJ of the GFM band. And Six of my birthday tribute alumni. Birthday tribute number 27, Richie Marufo of B-Wombs. Birthday tribute number 26, Chang of the 306, 10 Second Pistol, uh, 9 Music Group. Birthday tribute number 20, Lizzie Martinez with her husband, Shane Martinez. Birthday tribute number 19, Nicole Osborne. Birthday tribute number 12, El Paso Sweetheart Boxing Champ, Jennifer Hahn. And birthday tribute number 2, Brie Bagwell. Uh, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for letting in your video birthday shout outs. It was so thoughtful of you guys, and and Lizzie will love this one, and Liz will love this one. So I'm just saying thank you so much. Appreciate that time. And there's those who were not able to send in their video birthday shout outs, uh, what they didn't get a chance to, or they were not notified, but they did send their, their sincere apologies and um, with the message saying happy birthday to you, Liz. Alright, for those here are those who are not able to send in their video birthday shout outs is birthday tribute number 29, Abby Nara, birthday tribute number 22, Jenny Robbins, and birthday tribute number 16, Daisy Blue. Yeah, and the rest um, is Adrian Bautista, Dallas David Ochoa, uh, Travis James Manning, Era Snow, Stephen Buga, Chauncey Lowe, Julian Alexander, The Ivies, Raquel Madrigal, 
uh, Ed Potastic Foreman, Trisha de Jesus Gutierrez, also known as Finn Bell, Elizabeth Sofia Strauss, uh, Nick Palilogos, uh, Paul Latore, also known as Paul Corgueso, <laughs> uh, Gina Antonio, Cassie HP, Elemental, The Poet, uh, Marissa Parada, Robin Schofield, and the founder of uh, the Tumble Words Project, um, Donna Snyder. Uh, just they just send in their sincere apologies, but they did say happy birthday to you, Liz. So, all right. So those who are not able to send in the video birthday shout outs with their sincere apologies, but they send happy birthday to you. So, but even though I did ask them, but uh, I guess uh, some of them were not able to. So, uh, it's a long story. So. I hope you like it. And again, for those uh, who sent in the video birthday shout outs, thank you so much. That was so thoughtful of you guys. And um, Liz would love that one. Uh, well, Liz, I hope you enjoyed the, the birthday tribute I did for you. Well, I guess uh, it's not by a minute. Well, what we need is the words of parachute to make the resolute, but never a substitute. Well, I gotta say, the tribute is one big pursuit, and it was always, a, it was always the words has a toot. And yep, the Lizard King sounds cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and I say the Lizard King, yep, it sounds so, sounds so real. Uh, it sounds so real, like a thing, and. I gotta say, um, the Lizard King, that's a nice nickname, but it's always anything, sometimes something, or maybe, or there's always, there's always, um, there's always everything to write all the words. Yeah, for you, the Lizard King, wish you were born in the spring, and I gotta say, it's always a thing to write uh, write something it's like swinging like playing in the swing or or tying up the shoestring or like a drawstring but you gotta write something please gotta write something miss lizard king <laughs> well <laughs> i'm just uh exaggerating the rhyming of the dictionary right here <laughs> Yeah, that's just what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say to you, Liz. But but I gotta say, uh, you're you're doing an amazing job. All the all the writing, the, the poetry. But I gotta say, um, uh, it, it is so wonderful. To, it is so wonderful seeing you. How you make your poetry slam a very a very outstanding performance, and I will never forget that back in the days of BWAM, not long before the coronavirus came along, and then. But then we managed to resurgence, and guess what? You are still there. You are still performing your poetry, and that is a very that is a very place to be and way to, way a live thing to see. Yeah, it's a poetry stage as a place to be. <laughs> You're doing your poetry. <laughs> Man, I like to see the tree outside. And yeah, and it's always the deep blue sea. Hmm. Well, but anyway, uh, Liz, I'm going to say keep up what you do best. You do an amazing job. And I will definitely look forward to seeing you on another performance and another open mic. Maybe b Wombs if you're back. Or maybe up in Las Cruces, I still see at the, uh, on the rack. But <clears throat> I got to say, um, keep up what you do best. You're doing great, Liz. And I hope I see you soon. Okay. All right. And as always, um, for the bottom of my heart, mwah, happy birthday, Liz. Okay. Uh, she has a, a Instagram at this time. Uh, no word on the Facebook page or, or Twitter. But there is a, a scene of the YouTube. Uh, the saying fresh cuts from B Wombs. Uh, she sings her uh, poetry slam right there, so uh, I'll leave the link right down there, so please check it out. And don't forget her poetry book, I Don't Know Much About Love, 
Uh, it's out now. Please get the book. You're going to love it. Please do. Okay, and that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the 31st birthday tribute to Liz Liano, also known as the Lizard King. And again, happy birthday, Liz. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me and like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan the Man's Weekly. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man, Tennessee. Signing out.